Hey, what's going on guys? It's Jaden here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Phoenix Pilot Scooter. So first off, I'm just going to explain a little bit about the scooter. I got this Pro Scooter off phoenixproscooters.com. So I got this for a gift a while ago, and now I finally have a chance to make a video on it. Um, it's around, I think, $150, which it, it may sound a little pricey. For what this offers, this is actually a very good beginner pro scooter. Now I'm going to start the scooter check. So starting at the grips, we have the classic Phoenix grips. They're very grippy and very comfortable. So the bar is 22 inches tall by 20 inches wide. It's a T-bar and it's very durable and strong. The clamp is a double clamp that is oversized. For me, so far, it's held up very nicely. And the compression system is HIC and the headset is integrated with a Phoenix top cap. The fork is steel and it's very strong. And then one of my favorite things about this scooter is the 110 millimeter wheels. These wheels eat up the bumps like crazy and you can get a lot of speed and a very smooth ride. So my old scooter had 100 millimeter wheels and I probably wore them down to like 80 millimeters. That's why I'm so hyped about the 110s because it's such a smooth ride and it's so fast. So the deck is 4.5 inches wide by 19.5 inches long. I love the size of this deck, it's perfect for me. But I'd say if you're more of a taller rider, you might need a bigger deck. And the grip tape says Pilot on it. It's very grippy compared to my last scooter. It's really good grip tape and it's holding on pretty well so far. The brake is a nice, strong flex brake. I think it's like a black polish. It gives it a good look. And I like how it doesn't flex too easily because a lot of times when you land, you land on your brake and you don't want to get flat spots. Finally, the bearings are ABEC 9 bearings. They're pretty standard bearings. I think on my last scooter I had ABEC 7, so a good upgrade for bearings too. When you get a new scooter, you always got to love the graphics. Of course, they're going to get scratched off after a while from grinding and stuff but for now, I can admire it. If you guys love the color orange like me, this scooter is for you because this orange just looks sick and it almost glows up in the dark. They're like fluorescent orange. The deck looks very sick in the sun, but with in the shade, it's kind of like a light rose gold, which looks sick. For those of you who are wondering, this is the orange and black edition. So now what you've all probably been waiting for, the dialed test. Keep in mind, I haven't tightened this once since I got it, and it's still really dialed. So here we go. Dialed. And for my scooter, which keeps falling down all the time, I got a scooter stand. Also, one thing I forgot to mention is, this scooter is actually very good for both street and park. For all those street riders and park riders that were wondering. Now I'm gonna show you some gnarly tricks on the Phoenix Pilot. All right, so let's strap up. actually can't tail whip yet, but I'm definitely going to try to learn pretty dang soon because I'm trying really hard. I'll show you right now, but I'm just giving you a heads up. It's not the best, but I've improved. If any of you guys have some tips, leave in the comments down below. I think I'm going to the side too much because I'm not, when I land, I'm not landing by the deck. I'm kind of landing over here. So maybe if you guys have some tips to improve, like I said, leave in the comments down below. So I think I covered all the basic stuff about the Phoenix Pilot. Overall, I love the scooter, great beginner scooter. And yeah, I haven't really had any problems with it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe.